Hey guys, RC here, back with Climbing the Ladder. Our FM20 journey, journeyman save. Hope you guys have been doing well. Uh, early Saturday morning here that I am recording this. Uh, this should go up, I think, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Uh, you guys probably know I stay a couple of days ahead just with, you know, I have a full-time job. I do this on the side, so... You know, being that we're early in the save, we may get some new viewers uh, from the club or, you know, whatever. So just to kind of let you guys know. Um, so, you know, I usually do stay a couple of episodes ahead, but I do check all the comments. Uh, you know, I do reply to all the comments. Uh, still small enough of a channel to do that. So if you have anything that you want to let me know about in the comments, hit me up. Much appreciated. Also, don't forget a thumbs up. That helps uh, with the YouTube algorithms and stuff. Gets more eyes on the videos. Because I've actually started seeing some of you guys saying in the comments that you found my channel as a recommendation from YouTube. So that's awesome. Because that's, you know, usually you've got to have, you know, like thousands of likes to get that. So, uh, so that's huge. Um, so I appreciate that. Also, subscribe if you're new or haven't gotten around to it. Thank you very much. Let's get into the business of the day. So we're ending the season today. How are we doing? Well, last video we left off right here. We were in a really... So we picked up... We started with the club here. They had, they had won against Osters. We drew our first match. We took the job the day of the match. So that was, uh, that was interesting. We started off really good. Uh, we did have a loss, but this is where this is the last episode here. But you can see since I took over, we've been in pretty good form. Only two losses. One of those was a cup. So since then, we beat uh, Majalbi four three to one. We had goals from Frieden, Thony, and Marcus Bergman. A penalty. Then we destroyed Ativa Berg six to two. Uh, Henningsen a second half hat trick. Johansson with a goal, Frieden added a goal, and Silvano Thony added a late goal as well. That we were we were down two nil in this match, and I was like, "Holy crap!" And then just the floodgates opened. Then we beat uh, Razlat, top of the table, Razlat two to one. Uh, again, uh, we gave up a late goal there, but Henningsen and Savard starting in the you know, coming in the central mid that game. Then we beat Osters 3-2, to two. Johansson with a goal, and Henningsen with a second-half brace. Pontus Johansson was sent off in the 97th minute. Um, you know, if you're going to get sent off, you probably want to do it earlier. So we're back for the finals today. Now, this is what's interesting. We're in playoff contention, boys. Now, we so we're at 49 points. We are we have avoided relegation because we're 16 points clear with six points left to play. So we're we're definitely avoiding relegation, right? Now, plus 15, we're probably safe from homestads on goal differential. Majalbi could catch us on goals potentially. It's gonna come down to the wire. Now, let's see. We could actually catch Razlat, which is incredible to even think about. Now, they had such a huge lead. So this was pretty cool. I actually had not used this. Uh, I had not used this screen before. So here's the table, right? I've used that one for sure. If we look at the first half, Gobblestads and Razlat, 30, 29 points. We were down here in, uh, I don't know, what position is that? I don't know. It's, it's low, 16, 15, 14, 13. We were in 12th position after 15 games, 17 points. If we look at the second half of the stage, we are the best team in the league, boys. 32 points, seven points clear of top of the table, Razlat, over 13 matches. Uh, yeah, hello? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And last five games... Uh, you can see our form is unblemished with the one draw. Uh, we are 13 points. Well, Stickens has 10 points. And Razlat has fallen apart. They are uh, down here in 12th position over the last five, uh, sitting with six points in five matches, three losses in a row. 
So, I mean, they've only lost uh, – how many lo – they've, they've only got – They've only got eight losses. Well, they've got eight now on the season. So, yeah. So, you know, anyway, that's going on. We've had a couple more transfers. Uh, we, do, we do have some guys coming in uh, at the end of the season. So, we had seen who? I think you had seen Harry. So, uh, we've signed another uh, two, two 20 year olds. Uh, Malmo, uh, we have signed uh, Brynjar Gundemussen. I think, maybe, center back, left back, central. I mean, he could play a lot of positions. Well, you know, not not stellar physically, but very well rounded. A lot of good mentals, work rate, determination. I mean, everything in there is good. Tackling, marking, heading are very good. Sign him to be our a center back. Six feet tall. He can jump. He can head. I think he's going to fit in really good for us. He's played in Champions League this year. Hello. Uh, so, yeah, we're uh, very happy to have him. And then Martin Johansson comes in from Eskelmine. Uh He is a backline player. Uh, five foot eight, probably not going to play him at the center mid, especially with a four heading. But he can play left and potentially right, but probably a left back. Very good pace and acceleration. Crossing is leaving a lot to be determined. But, um, you know, he can mark. So, you know, more of a defensive back. And, you know, we don't play with those. But we do play automatic. And any any additional defense from the from the wings on the back line can't, can't do anything but help, right? <laughs> and he's, um, where's he at here? So yeah, three star current, five star potential. So took a, took a flyer on him. We also uh, brought in some more players. Actually, we only brought in one more player, Emil Johansson. Uh, he's a striker, not gonna play striker. He's gonna be a right winger here. Uh, so if we look at that, he uh, 23 years old. Uh, again, solid physicals, very good mentals in a lot of categories. He can pass the ball without looking like a complete idiot. He can take penalties if we're if we're pressed. Uh, he has solid technique, good first touch, good dribbling. He can cross the ball and take corners, at least at this level, right? He's played. Two, he, he's had two starts, one reserve. He scored twice, and he's averaging a seven four seven. So he has been really, really good. Um, one other thing I wanted to look at. Uh, just because I saw somebody do it the other uh, the other day. Um, okay, that's form. Is it here? I guess I'm gonna have to go back and refine that because oh no, here it is. So yeah, we're in our first season. Okay, so this is August, September, October. So this is a three month. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. So in this screen. Let's go back. So let's look at him. So you know how you get the arrows on here, right? You know what I'm talking about? A lot of times you'll look at the arrows and you'll think, oh, well, you know, they're going up. That's good. They're going down. That's bad. And But those are at that current moment, at the current moment. But if you go into this development and progress, if you've been at the club for quite a while, it, you'll get actually the whole season or, you know, whatever, you know, you may get multiple years, but you'll at least get the, the whole season and you can actually see trends. So you might have a guy that is like this guy, he, he, you know, you may have a guy with down arrows, but if you look, he may be, you know, he may have started down here and he may be way up here, you know, showing significant improvement over his time at the club vice versa you may have an aging player like our, our striker Frieden now he his line was straight for three months but he may actually have up arrows or or you know or no arrows but you may come in here and see that you know he was at this level but now he's he's way down here that he's really fallen off over time and that kind of will give you a better indicator if he's improving or falling off 
when to maybe get rid of somebody. Uh, so that was an interesting screen that I had not seen before. I had not used, but that was actually really good. Anyway, we are back today for Vandenberg and Savadalens. Uh, so let's get to it. Uh, title is on the line. If we can somehow get wins, uh, who does... Razlat. Razlat plays Osters. Osters is bottom of the table. They should win that. If they win that, I th I think they're safe because even if even if we win, even if we win, I think we're on the road. We are favored. One draw. All right. So we're gonna stay attacking. Uh, I you know what the one thing I did change during the games off camera is uh, oh and we're gonna bring Lane back in. I gave Willardson a couple of starts. So he's allowed two and three, but he's had two shutouts. Hmm. He's allowed six and eight, uh, eight and six, no shutouts. You know what? I'm going to start him. God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to cave. I'm going to cave. He's got two clean sheets. Uh, so the one thing we, we were slight underdogs. Oh, when we played Razlet, in fact, uh, it was Razlet. I went to balanced. Yeah, uh, we were on the we we were on the road. We were underdogs, and we uh, you know so I went to balanced and we beat them uh, two to one. It was crazy. All right, so we're gonna go with this. The you know the, I am so happy to see a tactic actually working. Um, this has been a brutal, brutal save. To date, I mean, my God, I mean, we got fired from our first two jobs, had to resign a third job that we were going to get fired from, right? Hellstrom crosses it in. Oh, good save by Jerson. Jerson? 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 I'm guessing the S is silent. So I'm going to go with Jerson there. All right, they're getting the ball movement pretty good there's a square uh, easy easy grab for Willardson all right he's gonna boot it out all right Johansson comes back to get it Johansson's one of our new players there's a through ball Frieden and he slides it past the keeper just inside the post that's his 17th of the season a bank shot off the post nice goal one nil four minutes in all right Thony lines up for the corner Plays it into the box. Oh, Bergman goes just wide with the header. Just a smidge off target. Oh, this is deep in their area. This could this could turn into something for us real fast. Bergman over the top. Henriksen bounces it off the keeper. Henriksen's been, uh, up to 10 goals uh, on the season. So Frieden was our primary score, but Hen uh, Henriksen has come, Henniksen has come on very well. Person into the box. Thony. Oh, Frick Frieden with a nice try. Keeper got a hand on it. Good save. Good save. All right. Thony into the box. All right. Henningsen chases it down. That's the other thing. I'm seeing a lot of hustle by players. I'm seeing players being aggressive, going after the ball. Another corner. We're 15th minute. Oh, I think that was in, and Bergman makes sure of it. Thony with the assist, and we are up 2-0 in the 15th minute. I want to say that it may have been in the net already. I thought I thought that was across the line right there when the keeper put his hand on it. No VAR, of course, but that's okay. Thank God he scored. So nine shots. They just picked up their first shot. Oh, uh, Willardson comes up strong. I don't think I could go wrong with either keeper. I think he just has better. Oh, my God. He, he stumbles. Frieden. Oh, and Frieden cannot finish. He 99% of the time he puts that one away. But that's how aggressive our players have been going after the ball, trying to get at it. Just a, a slight timing thing by the, you know, the, 
lapse of concentration by that back line player, and he was all over that ball. Let's give him some praise. Fired up. Balter's overwhelmed. Then to Yervy. Back to Will Willardson. All right, there's a nice little flick on header. Frickin' comes back to it. There's a through ball in the channel. Person makes the run. Oh, no. That should have been in the net. That should have been in the net. Come on, boys. 15, 16 to 7 on shots. And, oh, there's a nice ball into the channel. What a save by Willishin. Does set up a corner. I am so paranoid about corner kicks being a Leeds fan this season. Ugh, and that's why right there. The game is not helping, but God, that, that's Leeds Achilles heel this year is set pieces. All right, so they get one back. Up to 10 shots. So we had them, I think, 10 to 1 at one point. So they have come on. Uh, let's see. We're going to go aggressive. No, okay, I don't want to. Things are going well, but I know you're even capable of even better. No yellow cards, knock on wood. All right, let's get creative here in the early going. All right, Nilsson. Nice ball down the sideline. All right, good header. Ball up top. Thony makes the run. Gets to it. To the touchline. Oh, good job getting into the goal. Looking dangerous. Looks like another corner from us. Willardson pressured. Come on, man. Hellstrom into the box. Headed out. There was a uh, Twitter post from a uh, football manager the other day, and it was like, what's, uh, you know, what, what's the biggest thing that you want in uh, in a player or, you know, and I said, the biggest thing for me is I want a player that can take a throw in and actually throw it to a player on his own team. <laughs> and then when he does throw try to throw it, he doesn't throw it 20 feet over the player to nobody or to the other team. Hopefully they'll put a patch for that one day. Because I think that's ridiculous. Oh, there's a... Oh, how did he not finish that? Thony with a brilliant layoff pass. Oh, he should have buried that. Taken down in the box. Is that going to be a red card? All right, who's taking it? That's not Frieden. Bergman. Hello. Near post. He just... Buried it. Fifth goal of the season for Bergman. Nice job. That guy didn't get a red card for that? When when he considered last line? Maybe that's an England thing. I don't know. Uh, sub time. Uh, Johansson. Uh, now he's on the mid right. So you know what? Let's move Henningsen back. And then we will put uh, Maza up top. And then Hellstrom for Hogberg. All right. I'm pretty, well, shoot. I was going to say something, but. 3-1 is a lot more comfortable than 3-2. Let's praise again. See, I mean, that's that's like a stupid header. Why are you heading it out that far? Oh, look at the volley. And see, like right there, and he doesn't get a hard hit on it. So no clean sheet this time. He gave up that set, that corner goal. Well, here's another one. Push out, push out. Oh, my God. Don't leave him wide open for a shot. Oh, what a save. Oh, my God. What a save. That guy was completely unmarked, I think. 
It's like when they need to hit a, a, a booming header, they 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 come up soft, right? And when they and when they need a soft header, they boom it. I I don't I don't know. All right, let's see. So Thony, we could move him into the center. All right, let's do that. Uh, so yeah, he can go out to the left, and then we can bring Savard into the center. Savard, oh, a little bit different. Nah, he was looking for something. He was looking. He was trying to be creative. Oh, look at the wide open middle. Where is all of our, oh my God. Oh, how did the keeper save that? How did the keeper save that? Wow. They ended up even on shots. See, this is, this. we've been hit and miss here. A lot of times we have a lot of shots and we'll have a lot on target. Uh, 13 chances, guys. That's huge numbers. Gotta like that. Uh, I'll agree with that. Excellent job. All right, let's see what the uh, results were. Oh, uh, they won. Shit. So they're safe. All right, so they've won the league. Yeah, Razlat has won. Uh, two goals, so you were good in front of the goal. Thank you. All right. Um, all right, we're still even with Homesteads. We're going to win on goal differential. Who do they play? Homesteads plays Ativa Berg, who's fifth in the table. Okay. And who do we play? We play... Savadalens, who is seventh in the table. All right. Pretty fair matches for both of us, I think. I think they've got the harder of the two, but, you know, I mean, certainly Savadalens is not a pushover. Uh, so we'll be back for that uh, in seven days, but you'll be right back in just a second. All right, we are back. We are playing Savadalens today. A win puts us into the playoff crazy enough a draw if our other opponent draws now who are we uh who are we going up against oh i guess i could have looked right there against homesteads homesteads is playing a tiva bird they're at home we're on the road we are favored i like the black kits not a big fan of the orange but you know i like the black and i do like that you know i, I do like the look I'd make those our home kits. All right. We do have, where's he at? He's not on the field. Jepson, he is injured. Said he could play 75 minutes, but you know what? Let's not, let's not push it, right? Let's not push it. Familiarity is really good. Uh, position role duty um, that's probably not going to get much better just because these guys aren't trained in those positions but it is what it is all right come on boys i really don't know so before so here's a thought do we want to get promoted this year i mean getting promoted is never a bad thing right <laughs> Uh, you know what? It's the last game. Let's tell them we have faith. Let's get some extra green in there. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to win silverware, but we if getting promoted couldn't do anything but help our reputation, right? All right. Uh, I want the... Match report? No, not the match report. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Latest scores. There we go. All right, and we're going to move this over here. All right, so at least we can find it when we need it. There it is. All right. All right, quick over the top to Johansson. He's into the attack zone. Oh, my God, he missed a rebound, too. Twice he hit the woodwork. 
Is that possible? Can you really do that? I think that's a glitch. <laughs> All right, that's headed over. Come on, boys. Get creative. Oh, they're inspired. All right, Ooh, wait. Who is it? We're lo oh, here we go. It's Homestead, yes? They're losing. They're losing. So we've got a draw. They're losing. So if it ended now, we would be in the playoff. Knock on wood. All right, Bergman, Balter, Hellstrom, over the top. Frieden with a flick on header. Henningsen, oh, he's not very good at dribbling the ball. He's been a good finisher, but he's, we don't want him on the ball for very long. Oh, there's a deep cross to Thony. He holds it up, plays it in, goes over the head of our striker. Oh, nice little turnaround pass, getting it going the other way. Thony uh, beats his man. Crossed in. Frieden. Yes, he's on sides. Number 18 of the season, and we have a 1-0 advantage. I, I was a little worried about offsides there. Oh, God. Uh, they got Willitson back in the net. I, I forgot to look at that when I when I put in the uh, put in the lineup. All right, let's uh, let's praise. All right, Willitson up to Balter. Person. Oh, he finds Frieden who chests it down. Keeper flips it over the net. Sets up a corner. Good attempt. All right. Two hands up, I'm guessing, is the uh, the short kick. Uh, he puts it into the box. Not a very good entry pass. All right. Let's... Uh, uh, what? Oh, they've equalized. All right. So they that would be one point. But with the win, we're guaranteed. So if we win, nothing they can do. Because we'll beat them on goal differential. Ah. Sometimes these headers just kill me. Now there's a good one for a change. A oh, through ball. Henningsen runs onto it. Ah. Zandon, he is making some big saves for them in the net. All right, let's put this one away, boys. Come on. No, you need to shoot that ball. Oh, that one goes over. Damn it. Damn it. All right. Uh, oh, so they're winning now. Damn it. Damn it. Two goals in two minutes. After an own goal. So two to one. We're winning one nil. All right. You courage. All right. You, you, and you. Now, the problem is they're winning. We have to win. That's, that's the pressure now. Because they're winning, we have to win our match. Get to the ball. Get to the ball. Thank you. All right, Willardson. Oh, don't be stupid. <laughs> All right, he heads it down. Nice ball to Frieden. Frieden makes, uh, he was looking for the through pass. Uh, Bergman, uh, you want to pick up the pace and not just jog here, fella? All right, he turns it. And he kicks it to the other team. Henningsen, oh, through ball. Frieden with a big tackle. And he can't find the near post. Damn it. Is there a penalty? Hello? Hello? No? 
No penalty. All right. Come on, boys. All right, what's the score looking like? Oh, my God. Four to one. No, we had a really big goal differential. So, I'm not too worried about that. All right, nice, Johansson. Ah, damn it. Man, we need somebody to find the net. I don't want to let this slip away at this point. Breeden's on top of the ball. Shit. Come on. All right. So I can move Hellstrom to the other side. And then that can bring Hogberg on on the back line. Uh, Balter for Savard. Let's do that. All right, Hellstrom into Savard. Just on. Oh my God! How did that not go in? <laughs> How did that not go in? Oh, we had two good chances there. Seven clear-cut chances. We've only put one away. All right, push forward. Let's make a... Uh, yeah. Johansson, mid-right. Let's bring Evelson in. All right, Savard, Thony, Hellstrom, over to Person. Oh, he was looking for a sweet entry pass there. All right, good header. Oh, no, dangerous ball. Peterson, no, no, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to move those guys up. Oh, my God. Demand more. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Homesteads wins their game four to two and they're in the playoffs. Oh, that's, that's brutal. I know we were just saying at the beginning of the match, do we really want to go up? We dominated this match. 10 chances to one. 10 chances to one. Oh, that's, oh, they, they did play well. It was very unlucky. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> that's just, just rip your heart. Look at the run just to be in that position. I guess that's what's the worst thing is the run that we went on. Un one, two, four, seven, ten match unbeaten run. Eleven match unbeaten run, actually, because the cup doesn't count. Eleven matches unbeaten. Nine, two, and zero, oh. And we miss by one, by two points. By one goal. One goal. Oh, man. Oh, that is so heartbreaking. All right, let's... I don't know if we get the end of season awards right away or if it's not until after the playoffs. Right here. Okay, so let's check them out. Uh, season review. I mean, look at that, man. 
11th position. Club vision. This ought to be interesting. So work within the payroll budget. Now, oh my God. So they want us to reach the playoffs next year. Okay. We were just wanting to avoid relegation, and now you want to be in the playoffs. All right, well, let's see. Discuss plans. Uh, passionate. Well. Boom. All right, they're on break. All right, end of season awards. You know, it's not really ours, but, you know, fans player of the season, Oscar Frieden, 63% dominating the vote. Henningsen, the other striker, 14%. And Minty Yervi, left wing back, uh, 13%. Thony with the goal of the season. Thony, the signing of the season. And Henningsen, young player of the season. When did, uh, when did Thony come in? I, did we bring him in? I don't remember. Yes, we did. I did that. Me, this guy. Yes. <laughs> I think uh, Olson's going to be, uh, we're going to let him go. Uh, we've got the new guys coming in. Uh, Borgstrom's going to be going out. Uh, we got an offer. We got an offer for our keeper, the guy that was our starting keeper when I took over. Uh, and then he lost the job. So we've got an offer on him, but he's going to end up going out. Uh, finance wise, we have let some money go. Um, payroll went up about $10,000, I think from when I took over. So that has gone up drastically. I'll be interested to see what the payroll budget's going to be next year, but we probably need to drop that a little bit. I don't know exactly what we've got, but you know, we do have a rather, you know, that's a little bit larger club than I like. We've got a lot of guys that didn't play. If we look at all of these subs, um, Jepson, you know, I'd like to bring him back. Might be able to do better, but I'd like to bring him back because he's pretty solid. He's out of contract. He's valued at 3.1. Can I, uh, can I make an offer for him? end of season nah all right well i'm not paying thirteen thousand dollars for him and you haven't signed him all right well guys i am going to get into the uh minutia of the off season uh yeah i'd like a lot of these guys i would have liked to have brought in i'm gonna have to keep an eye if their contracts are up um maybe after the first of the month i can go direct sign i don't know but we'll figure it out. Um, hit that like button. I think the run at the end of the season, you know, well, the, I think the season that we had since coming here, definitely the right move to leave FC Mets. Um, probably a mistake to take that job in the first place. Again, what, what you know, what interested me there was they were, you know, they were in administration. We were able to get them out. So I think that proved us financially. Uh, do I pick anything up there? reputation wise and eh, not really not yet maybe not till the end of the season and we may not get anything for finishing third although i think we should all right guys have a good one we'll see you next season take care bye